Hi, it's Simon, and if you can hear the background hum, that is the gardeners doing some gardening next door. And that's the way it goes, isn't it? Life isn't always quiet and silent. And today it's been really an interesting day for me. We had our big launch yesterday, which went better than I expected, differently than I expected, and was a lot more intense. And that's often the case, right? You have these contractions and expansions. So yesterday was very much a focus day, an energetic day, and good things happen, different things opening up. And I learned a lot of stuff about myself in the process, which I think from the bigger conversation is actually the most useful thing. So today I am doing the video because I made a promise to Telman to make videos 99 days in a row. If it wasn't for that, and people like Lila nudging me and you, Mitty, and others, I wouldn't be doing this. So for me, having an environment that's causing me and saying, hey, where's the video? Have you done that yet? Have you gone and kept to your word is vital. It's not a forget, it's just that time goes really quickly sometimes. You ever notice that? I know I have recently, especially decades have gone by, and uh, in fact, two decades since 2001, and the events that happened in September, which really shifted everything for me. In fact, I had a course I was doing to learn to speak in public better that mum found out about from her hairdresser. And because of that, and a printed brochure, ended up doing a workshop, and uh, the rest is history, as they say. And it does have me think about the way things work in the world. You know, perfect timing. They, the lawnmower has stopped, the birds have come out a bit. And that is how it works sometimes, this sort of divine timing or sacred synchronicity stuff. But I don't know what you call it, I just notice it. And I'm not judging it the way I used to, not thinking about it the way I used to think about it, but I'm present to there are these things that happen. And I'm hoping it's for the better, hoping things are improving. And it does seem to be that way as we look around today. Um, that's a cat over there, it's the cat, not a fox. I wasn't sure if the fox went to play again. That's just a big black cat. But not going to cross his path, we're going to come back to the conversation. And um, some people think I'm very random, very ran rambly. I'm actually very focused. The problem is most don't know what I'm focused on. And or they come to that conversation differently. They're not thinking where I'm thinking. They don't know what I know, don't see what I see. And that, I think, is true for all of us. If we actually knew who we were, if we knew what we were dealing with, what we were looking to create in our lives, we do different results. We'd have different conversations. That's partly why, as I've done these videos, it's been quite interesting seeing what I've learned in the process about me and uh, also what people have been messaging me, usually in private versus publicly. And I've been dealing with that for nearly two decades now, this dichotomy, this duality between having a public life and a private life. What do I mean by that? Well, I worked in PwC as an auditor. And most of what we did was not only under a non-disclosure, we couldn't even talk about it outside the team on that project, and often only with the manager or the partner on that audit. So that was really quite challenging. Think about this. Most of your job, most of what you're doing, and you can't tell anybody what you've learned, what you've discovered. Now, the beauty of that, it means that that team can actually work. You have a sacred space. You actually have a trust. And that's really the fundamental I've been looking into now for most of my life. In fact, sort of 40 years now, what is trusted? What can be trusted? What's safe? What's available? Now, equally, the paradox is we need to share. We need to cross boundaries. Otherwise, things carry on, right? It's no great thing to be that sort of trapped flea in the jam jar or the trapped frog, not knowing the lid's gone. And yet, most of the time, that's what's been happening. So I've been trying to deal with knowing a lot of things that aren't public, often wanting to share them and not being allowed to, not because they're secret, but because they're agreements about why I was given access to that information and experiences. Now that can make it seem very mysterious, but in actual fact, those of you that know me, and I know you know me fairly well if you're watching this or getting to know me fairly well, well know I love to share everything. In fact, that's one of, one of my challenges. I often wonder how to keep it short and salient. So even this video today, I've been talking a bit more and uh, I want to thank a young man called Jason. I've never actually met Jason, but thanks to an interactive Facebook friendship for 10 years and him sharing uh, what he's up to actually in Hawaii, I've actually seen some videos that he filmed, interviews with incredible people who also I've known but never knew those things about them. And suddenly I'm seeing the dots connect differently and different mindsets about things. So very grateful for that. And uh, here in my eye again, not, not sad and watering away. But um, and it's okay to be sad. I've got some friends who are really sad at the moment. Some just lost their fathers, their partners, uh, and others who are really happy. They're having their best ever day in life and business. So um, 
gonna go do my next stage of work. I'm gonna go back to some more friends. And the reason I'm in this fancier shirt today is we've got some work calls I have to do, um, which I'm doing from here actually in the garden uh, because people like to see us outside. So with that said, I'm gonna wish you a great afternoon, wish you well, and really leave you with that question. Do you wanna know the whole story? Or do you know that wanna know the bit that'll help you get what you want next? And if you knew what it was you wanted, could you explain to somebody in a sentence or two? Uh, I've met a lot of our clients, friends, and people that aren't yet clients and partners reaching out in really confusing ways. And it's obvious sometimes what they're looking for, but the way they are speaking, the way they're communicating, has that not be possible to actually interact because they're just not ready to hear it. But they think they want X, Y, and Z. They think they want what they think they want, but actually they're not, that wouldn't solve the problem. Um, change tires when actually what they want is the tire changed but they don't even say either of those things they go the car's not working properly why is it not moving forward well it's kind of like that most people's lives and businesses aren't set up optimally to work for them and they're in environments that aren't optimal for them either and they're wondering why they're not working i'm very clear that this is an optimal environment but we know that and we're working on that and uh, i know you are too in the ways you are thank you for watching and um, i'll see you tomorrow bye for now